rashes and bloaters usually are caused by the vicious jelly that starts to melt as our eyes start to age. The vitreous jelly usually fills up the eyeball, but as it melts a little bit, there's more room for the vitreous jelly to move around. As it moves around, we can start seeing some images as floaters. It also tends to tug on the retina as it tries to pull away from the retina, which lines the wall of the eye. As it tugs on the retina, it tends to give off flashes, and those are the flashes that we typically see. Retinal detachment can lead to blindness. Therefore, it is imperative for us to recognize the signs and symptoms of a retinal detachment. The typical signs and symptoms are floaters, flashes, decreased vision, or even a dark veil that can cover any side of your vision. The vitreous jelly tends to melt as we age. As the vitreous jelly melts, it tends to move a little bit more and that would create images that we perceive as floaters. As vitreous jelly tries to pull away from the retina, it can tug on the retina and this usually gives off the light flashes that we see. Retinal detachment is typically treated with a surgical procedure called scleral buckling and it also is often treated in combination with a procedure called vitrectomy. The sclerobuckle is a thin silicone band that goes around the eye in a position where it would support the retina when it, uh, when it reattaches to the wall of the eye where it will receive the um, uh, highest support and fortification. Wet macular degeneration is typically treated with a special medication that can stop the growth of the abnormal blood vessels that cause wet macular degeneration. This treatment is usually delivered by a method called intravitreal injection in which we use a small needle to deliver this medication directly into the eyeball for the medicine to start working right away. For dry macular degeneration, there isn't a treatment at the present time. However, we do have a special vitamin supplement that for people that meet the criteria would be able to minimize the risk of progressing from dry macular degeneration to a more advanced stage of macular degeneration.